Blaze Reardon is in net for Carolina. He's the best goalie lacrosse has ever seen. He saves the shot, and then he takes off. And he told the fellas in practice, he said, I'm going coast to coast one game this season. Exactly what he does. He saved a lot of shots. He scores one this time. His first goal. The best goalie to ever do it. And now he's rubbing it in people's faces. I can score too. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching. And this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. And today's episode is brought to you by Mountain Dew. That's right. We're doing it. Thank you guys. Thank Mountain Dew. Do you know that since like January, every single episode of Things You Missed has been higher than 100,000 views? And did you know that we're very, very, very proud of that? Mountain Dew, baby. They brought you this episode. Let's keep it focused, Jim. Keep going. Argentina's Premier League, and we got ourselves a little bit of a show off. His name is Walter Bow, and what he does is catches this one on his chest, and then bicycle kicks it in. Goalie can't do nothing. Then he gets up, says, "What of it? I'm smart. No, I'm crazy." Coach is like, "Glad we got this guy. It's his first year. It's a good way to get the fans on your side." She can't believe it. What's going on? He just did that. It's not practice. It's a real game. Holy smokes! Gives them the lead in the 90th minute. Are you kidding me? Goalie's like, what? What do you want me to do? Shrug? Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm crazy. I'm Walter Bow. Little League World Series is my favorite. I love the Little League World Series. That's a nice double play. Wow. Turns two. We've seen a ton of double plays in the regional tournament this year. This one, great play by the second baseman. You got to love when they tag the bag with the glove like it's a human. It just feels cool. It's like, ah, that's nice. Usually that doesn't happen. Uh Uh-oh, pass ball. And now the runner gets the second catcher. It's all right. Calm down. Take a breath. It's a high fastball popped up in the air. Bottom six. Illinois is down one. That's out number two. They don't tag up. Okay. One out to go. And Indiana advances and goes to the World Series. Strike one. Gotta love it. Strike two. One strike away. And Indiana goes to the World Series. And everyone is clapping and cheering besides the dude wearing brown whose arms are folded. But that's just him doing him. No one get on his back about it. All right. Calm down. One more strike. Here we go. Never say die. That's Hinsdale, Illinois' motto that I just made up for them. They tie it up down to their last strike, and he comes through with the knock to tie it. All right? They say fastball. Catch says nice and easy, deep breath, and then... He steps and drives it. Nice little line drive hit to score the run. Hinsdale, Illinois. They've never been to the World Series. They're dying to go. They've heard about it. They've watched it. They've seen it. They're jumping up and down. A nice hug in the crowd. He doesn't give a crap. Oh, two. Don't care. Just was waiting for mine. All right. So now we're in the bottom of the eighth inning. Extra innings. Runner on second base. A man, Fred. Man. Strike. Next pitch, that one's put in play over the first baseman, and guess what? Hinsdale is going to the dance. They're happy in Hinsdale. They advance to the Little League World Series with a wild and relentless comeback. That kid can't believe it. How much could that kid not believe it? Look, oh, oh. next up, this girl's covering her ears because it's loud in the building. There's 24 seconds left. Although this league, the Canadian Elite Basketball League, they play by a really unique rule that I had never heard about. Maybe you guys have never heard about it because this show is things you miss that you never planned on watching. So let me just read this for you. It's, it's very interesting to me. So in this league, in this game, once the clock gets past four minutes, the first time they stop the clock, they say, all right, add nine points to the team that's winning Whoever gets to that number first wins. Clock be damned. So in this game, the play clock stopped. 
Ottawa was leading 85 to 81. So they add nine points to the 85, making it 94 math. So first team to 94 is the winner. So why? That's my biggest question right now. Why do they do that? I don't hate it. I'm not knocking it. I like interesting and new rules, but why? Uh, That's what I kind of am interested in is why do that that way? So anyway, they're playing to 94 and NRL, Niagara River Lions, falling over those falls, riding the river over the falls. Is that what they're talking about? Uh, They're up by one and now alley-oop for the win because that gives them 94 points and boom, they win. Do you guys like that rule? Why do they do it? Is it more exciting when you know the number instead of the the countdown? Why? And as I said earlier, this episode, it's brought to you by Mountain Dew. Did you know that? Mountain Dew sponsoring. So enjoy it because this is a, a place where we get together and we watch sports we didn't know exist and then you grab a Mountain Dew and you go outside and you grab a group of friends and you play those sports. That's what they're all about. That's what we're all about. Where's my papers? I'm too excited. Let's keep going. What's next? What's next? Oh, it's the 100. So this is a, a cricket league in England. They've changed the format a little bit and they wear crazy colors and Sam Curran is the bowler and he just got a wicket. Okay, so that's good. There he is. There he is. And he got a wicket and he got comes in and he bowls five. Did they change it to six? Maybe they changed it to six. I forget there was five and that he just bowls straight through that guy. A little fist pump. It's a cute little fist pump, huh? I mean, you don't need to you don't need to like act like you're too masculine or you're too cool to say that that fist pump was cute. All right, because that's what that was. So he just bowls him straight through. That's not, that's dominating this cute, you know? That's like, he didn't want anyone to see. That's just for him, you know? He loves it. He doesn't want the batter to feel like he's sending him off. It's not rude. He's just, uh, just fucking, yeah, happy with himself right through. So that's two wickets in two balls. It's actually three wickets in four balls, but two in a row. So he's on a hat trick ball, which is three in a row. And Andre Russell steps up. Where's me notes? Where's me notes? And he's setting his field. And what he's doing is, see those dots on the field? Well, he just brought a fourth guy um, square of the batter, the the white dot that's going to be right square of the batter. Okay, so here we go. And he's got his line right now. This is Sam bowling to Sam Curran to Billings, and they kind of look alike. And he does find his mark, nicks it right to Billings. Look at that toss. Look at that. Boom. All <laughs> what up? What up, Sam? That was, that was a great toss. That ball had to go so high. I need other angles on it. Oh, now, now, boy. Oh, now, now. Cheer, cheer. Now, did you enjoy the cricket? Cheer, cheer, boy. Pat on the head. That didn't feel good. That's weird. Maybe it's a cultural thing. Maybe that's how they celebrate. Kids seem to like it. Oh, uh, there you go. The two Sams. Billing says, fuck, big boy. Yep. Yep. Okay. Also, while we're on the subject, there he is. Oh, do we have a shot of him throwing it? I mean, he just tosses that. Boom, fist bump. While we're on the subject, let me uh, let me see if I can drag this on the screen here because also what happened in this league, Sam Billings is a keeper in this. He just straight up took out an umpire. I don't know if it was this same game, but watch this. You know, he's captain of the uh, Oval Invincibles. We've interacted a little bit. He's a very fun guy, but no, boom, down. You're out. You're gone. You're not going to stand for this match. He's, he's out. Ah, uh, sorry, mate. Ah, uh, boy. Uh, takes his hat off. Turns out. I'm bald. Anyway, this was everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Thank you very much for joining. I appreciate you. You appreciate me. We appreciate do. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Farewell. Fan of the week. Fan of the week. Fan of the week. Who do you got? Make your choices wisely.